Welcome to this week's ERP support training session. Our secondary subject today is focusing on the shipping tools in EBMS. The goal today is to give you as a ERP support staff an idea of what shipping tools are available to link to EBMS. Some of the common tools that are linked to the software, to the sales invoice, as well as quoting, is uh, UPS WorldShip, FedEx Shipping Manager, and USPS Indicia software. The shipping tools also allows a user to calculate ma manual shipping charges on a quote or an invoice based on formulas that are connected to the shipping method or to the customer record itself. Our customers have connected EBMS to various shipping solutions, including various LTL common carrier companies, but really any software that will communicate using a 32-bit ODBC driver is able to be connected to EBMS. One of the goals of this session today is not necessarily to educate you in all the technical details of creating and supporting these interfaces, but to give you two very important tools. One, an idea of what options are available, and number two, what documentation is available to give to the client or to their shipping department or possibly even their shipping managers to interface EBMS with the shipping tools. The development team right now is working toward interfacing with ship, ship engine, which will actually do rate shopping, will print out the labels and do uh, kind of create a common software for shipping rather than interfacing with individual shippers software. This will be available later in 2020. The main setting used within an EBMS sales order or quote is the shipping method. These, this setting is under the ship via field and it accomplishes a number of things. The shipping method selection identifies how or if shipping is part of the sale. So the best way to identify if this item even includes shipping is by selecting the proper shipping method. So one of the necessary shipping methods that should be part of any EBMS installation would be a non-shipping method that would identify uh, when a customer is picking up the items or when no shipping is involved. The shipping method setting within the ship via field has the following effects. First of all, the shipping method will determine if the ship to address is printed on many of the sales documents. Another effect is that it, it affects the way sales tax is calculated. What sales tax rate is used within EBMS. Obviously, if shipping is a part of the sale, then we need to calculate shipping costs. And also, the shipping method will determine how and which shipping software this sales order is communicated to. The shipping methods within EBMS are set by selecting sales, options, and then clicking on the general tab as you see on the screen. There's a lot of documentation in EBMS to explain how to set up these various shipping methods. The shipping method list shown on the screen is for a client that primarily uses UPS to ship product. Some of the common shipping methods that are on this list are customer pickup to identify the orders that do not affect shipping, uh, as well as uh, multiple UPS shipping methods. Note that each type of shipping method for UPS is a separate record. 
Many companies also use the shipping methods list to create delivery routes. So the shipping method may be individual descriptions of trucks or drivers. There are many other options, including various common carry, uh, carriers or LTL shipping. EBMS contains some very advanced shipping tools and data within the inventory product catalog. On the screen, you will see the shipping tab for an inventory item. Notice that in the bottom, you'll see uh, different packages based on the unit of measure. And in those packages, you will see the dimensions which help the software determine the dimensional weight. Dimensional weight is a growing method using, used to calculate shipping charges for various carriers. The screen also allows you to add handling fees or attach MSDS sheets, IMFC info, tariff, and other shipping details. Notice that the comprehensive freight settings within the EBMS inventory product catalog allows the user to do some very uh, specific and advanced shipping calculations. It also allows the user to print various shipping documents. So the communication between EBMS and specific shipping software, for example, UPS WorldShip, are the following. EBMS is able to pull rates from a cloud-based table into a sales order or quote. This is uh, done primarily with UPS rates but those rates can be used for various other shippers. EBMS then pushes important shipping information from EBMS into the shipping software using an ODBC driver. Information like the, uh, the shipper, the, the destinations, uh, shipping address, name, shipping method, email, insurance, collection types, and various other information is pushed from EBMS to shipping software like UPS WorldShip. This allows the person taking the order to enter everything into the EBMS software and easily push this information right to the shipping software's system. After the package is, uh, is weighed, the label is generated from a software like UPS WorldShip, the information from the shipping software is then pushed back to EBMS. So it's, it's easy to access the, the tracking number, the weight, the details about those, that shipping. One of the things that I would like to highlight today is that the 8.3 version of the EBMS documentation has detailed instructions of how to interface EBMS with UPS WorldShip or EBMS with FedEx Shipping Manager. Now some of the other solutions that we interface with EBMS, there is less detailed instructions, but it does have uh, a, a instruction sheet on how to use the ODBC driver within EBMS. This ODBC driver uh, is, is included with the software and can be given to clients to assist them in interfacing their shipping software with EBMS. I recommend that you don't spend a lot of time actually doing this configuration yourself but use the, the documentation, give those resources to the client, have them or sometimes even their, their shipping partner can assist them with the interface. The shipping solution within EBMS allows you to set up various rates, as you can tell. Now this is the uh, properties option within the shipping method. And as you can tell, 
uh, you can have a shipping option that would have no shipping costs at all. It can be a simple calculation based on the total, based on the weight, based on various factors. Uh, one of the common methods is to use the, the shipping methods rate, which in this case would be UPS. So it takes the rate from, from uh, the online rate table, runs it through the preferences, and puts that rate on the, on the sales order based on the freight information for the product that's on the sales order. But there's many other things. For example, you can have a, uh, a delivery fee under the customer, and when you deliver to this customer, it can apply that delivery fee. You can, ha you can have a delivery fee if it's under an X amount of dollars and free if it's over. So there's a lot of options that the user has to set up shipping costs within EBMS. One of the powerful tools in the software is the ability to add preferences to, in this case, UPS's rate table. So I can do a markup on the rates. I can add uh, handling fees. I can add maximum weights. Uh, the service type would then be pushed to the, so the actual shipping software. As you can tell, there's various service types that are available to push to the software itself. The customer would then continue to use the standard shipping software that they're used to using, like I had mentioned, UPS WorldShip, uh, FedEx, uh, LTL, or whatever ever software they're using. They would use that software to weigh the package, to label the package, uh, and then after that shipping is done, that information is pushed back into the sales invoice in EBMS. As, and as you can tell on the screen, there's a tab that shows up on the sales invoice labeled shipping that will list the packages that were used, the tracking number, how it was shipped, what weight, what cost. Uh, you can even manipulate uh, information here, such as the email. Uh, you can take this, the actual freight that was calculated and added to the invoice. There's a lot of information from the sales order invoice. So the goal of this session is to give you an overview of what's available in EBMS and also to highlight the detailed updated documentation that was added to, uh, to the freight and shipping cost section of the sales manual. Again, I recommend you forward this information to the clients, and I would recommend that you don't spend a large amount of time setting this up yourself. The documentation should be clear enough for a technical person at the client site to be able to configure these options. Thank you for your attention.